Hey, it's RF here, and this is Chapter 4 from Max Payne 3. This is called Anyone Can Buy Me a Drink. So, we're starting off here. Cut out a little bit of the beginning because, well, because it was long. So we're going to start off blowing that little dipshit away. And then we're going to get right into the shooting. Alright, so this is actually a pretty decent mission. Actually, they're all, so far, they're all pretty good missions. I, uh, I gotta say, I think I said it before, but I'm really enjoying this game. It's almost to the point where I don't want to continue playing because I don't want it to end. I don't know if you guys ever do that, but, uh, I'm getting to that point with this game. Be nice if they, uh, Put out extra missions later on, but I don't know if they'll do that. I'm guessing probably not. So basically here we're just trying to get out of the bar alive. And for some reason that guy really doesn't help a whole lot. And now we're gonna go in, I think, I'm not sure if I picked up the guns in this one or not. Either way, there'll be a golden gun guide coming after have a lot of memories for me. After this, so fuzzy, don't worry about it. Nonetheless, this looked like goodbye. I'll show you exactly where to uh, find all the pieces. And of course I'm just searching around for clues and everything else. I've gotten into my share of bar fights. Pretend that you don't night see that. wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. Picking up some more weapons. They barred the front door. Of course. Because you can never have too many. In here. The only way out was through the back. I was trying to play exactly the jukebox the here. Kind of like we played the piano earlier, but no such luck. But there ain't much left of it. Tony's all right, now we got some more bad guys. Almost killed me. I couldn't get behind the wall. I really like when the reticle turns from the little dot. <coughs> okay, I'm done. From the little dot to the X, indicating that they died, so you don't waste any more bullets like I usually do. Which actually comes comes to be pretty important in uh, one of the next missions. Stupid me, never uses my bullet time. I could save so many painkillers if I'd actually use my bullet time. But I'm getting better at using it. You'll see in upcoming missions. Time to see what's waiting outside for us. And I'm on the search again. Must have forgotten about those. Whenever you're ready. The only way my first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized partnerships start as they mean to go on. You got me into this shit. Come on. If he's hungry, he could just eat that hamburger in front of him. I still didn't remember having met Passos before, but then again, I didn't Some have nice pictures on the walls here. I didn't remember most nights after 6 p.m. Okay, get out the damn door. 
I don't know why I keep doing this. I change weapons right before we enter the next chapter. Or not chapter, but next um, section. And then it always switches you to another weapon anyway, so you have to switch back after. But I continue to do it. And bullet time. Look at me using bullet time. And not aiming for the head. Like a dummy. Good thing we got Paco here helping us, cause uh no, actually no, he just sucks. <laughs> Should just take the gun from him. Bullet cam inside of the wheel well. Yay! I thought about saying the cops, but this was no time for bad Picking jokes. up bullets. Where are you going? There is something else in this area, but I'm not telling you what. You have to stick around for the gun guide. And then yes, Paco sir. disappears. He could have been sent to uh, fall, but something told me to stay put. Kill all the bad guys. Yeah, I actually used the bull time for once. Twice. I'm learning. That guy's pretty stupid. And there he was, back in amongst it to help me out of a jam. In one of the upcoming missions, I used the bullet time only for headshots in this one area because the uh, the guys you're fighting against have uh, armor. So, yeah, I do. Oh, I skipped out all that other crap. So, we're in Max's apartment. And of course, Paco took off. Ran like a bitch. And again, later in the gun guide, I'll show you some stuff. Um, from his apartment, Max's apartment. Go, dude. Ooh, a gun. And you're almost dead. Hey, you're fucking dead. Boom. <laughs> Blows his head off. And we find the crazy guy. I did Don't leave this in because it was pretty cool. You think that'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men! You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be it was thank hard you crazy guy for helping me out but I got to thinking it was what he was waiting for a chance to make a and difference. now we're gonna go in and inspect your what helps me place. Sleep. the apartment made me wish I see got how not so you really were you think there'd be more drugs in here but
manifesto. It's one of the clues. Oh, look at this. We can watch TV. I had a TV like that once. Thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself piece burn right there. Our uh, golden gun. And up we go. I didn't have a fancy green light on my gun, just a stubborn desire to stop those thugs from having their way. Bust through the door, and there's three dudes staring at you. I forget to turn my bullet time off. Like there. Look at that dumbass. I'm gonna run right at the guy with the gun. to death I am. I think I do actually die right here. Strange to be at the center of it again, the target that is, like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Coming into Newark Airport, get right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. All right, buddy. Nothing else to see here. Climb up the ramp. Actually, pretty cool. All right, guys, let's look alive. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, want to hear some motivation? Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there. Up there. Up there. What you bitching? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, there he is. Shoot him. God damn it! Nothing really to see. Just rooftop jumping. I'm having trouble killing these guys in this burned out building here. Out. 
You mean looking around for loot? to the penthouse but they were worth the shot I think one of the times I played through this mission I got a double kill right there Chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Now uh, here it's best just to be patient. Let them open themselves up like that, dude. And of course, use your bullet time. So I was kind of dumb here, I wasn't going for a headshot. for a rainy day. Pretend you don't see that. How's this look? Picking up bullets and heading okay. out. I think we're almost done actually. This is the last little firefight here. We just have to wait for them to pop, pop their heads up. Which they always do. is chapter 4 from Max Payne 3 and as always thanks for watching Dead end. you knew your way around these parts let's just get over there